An important benefit of GDNT is the use of cylindrical tolerance zone. We'll see that with an example. Let's say we have a part and we make a drawing with both coordinate tolerancing as well as geometric tolerancing. So we have a part which is having a hole and that hole is located from the edges at 25 and 35 mm and the hole is having a dia of 18 with size tolerance. In the geometric tolerance uh, drawing the basic dimension will be the 35 and 25 and the datums will be provided A, B and C and there will be a feature control frame call out on the size feature of size saying that the position of the hole should lie within a tolerance range of 1.4 with respect to the primary, secondary and tertiary datums. So this is the representation of the drawing. It conveys the same idea. Let us have a look at the tolerance zones for these two examples. For the coordinate tolerancing, the tolerance zone will be a square of side 1 mm as the hole is located with respect to the uh, dimensions 35 and 25 and they are having a tolerance of plus or minus 0.5. So the hole can vary plus or minus 0.5 in X and it can vary plus or minus 0.5 in Y. So the tolerance zone will be a square of 1 mm. Whereas for the GDNT callout, the tolerance zone is already defined in the feature control frame that is the dia 1.4. So the axis of the hole can vary within a cylindrical tolerance zone of 1.4 mm dia. So you can see that for the coordinate tolerancing the tolerance zone is square and for the geometric tolerancing the tolerance zone is a circular tolerance zone. If we compare the area between the two tolerance zones and if we are inscribing the square inside the circle of the uh, geometric tolerance zone then we can see that the hashed area is the extra tolerance which is available for the GDNT drawing. So in the GDNT drawing the hole will have extra tolerance that is around 57 percentage more tolerance available for it compared to the coordinate tolerancing method. So this is a bonus tolerance and it allows for the uh, cost reduction in manufacturing and also allows for easy assembly of the mating paths.